Hello, sports fans. Welcome to Lancer Central. I'm Tristan Penna. And I'm Autumn Childress. Basketball season is well underway for both men and women, and we've got highlights for both, so let's get right to it. Men's basketball has gotten off to a slow start, facing back-to-back -back losses on their home court. On Tuesday night, the Lancers tipped up against the Columbia Lions. It was a career night for redshirt junior Isaiah Walton, scoring 32 points, shooting 11 of 16 from the field, 60% from behind the three, and going 100% from the charity stripe. Joining him in double figures was redshirt senior point guard B.K. Ash, who contributed 17 points and 6 of 18 shooting. But the shooting of the Lions proved too much for the Lancers, as Quentin Adlesh and Mike Smith both topped 20 points in the matchup. Adlesh went 5 of 9 from 3 with 9 of 14 shooting from the field, scoring 23 points in 36 minutes of play. Smith added 22 points for the Lions, shooting 33% from behind the arc in 35 minutes of play. The final score for that game, 87 to 77. On Saturday afternoon, the Lancers fell to the St. Francis Red Flash in Willett Hall. It was a career night for freshman guard Camille Chapman, who posted 14 points in the matchup in just 22 minutes of play. Leading the team in scoring was Isaiah Walton with 15 points, shooting 15% from behind the three. And a big night for team captain Demarion Jeter, who was just one board shy of his first career double-double. The redshirt senior had 11 points and 9 rebounds. But despite the efforts of Chapman, Walton, and Jeter, the Red Flash's backcourt was just too much for the Lancers to contain. Isaiah Blackman and Keith Braxton combined for 34 of the Red Flash's 83 points in the contest. The Lancers are on the road next as they travel to the Greensboro area for a pre-Thanksgiving tournament. Women's basketball picked up their first win of the season in their home opener on November 18th, beating UMass Lowell 84-82. Autumn Childress led the way with a game-high 19 points and 15 rebounds. Fellow senior guard Mikhail Ellis dished out five assists as well as the Lancers improved to 1-2 and two, and head coach Bill Reinson spoke after the win. Well, I, I think this was a must win for us. You know, um, we struggled so much last year. Um, it didn't really matter how this looked, just as long as we got it done. And, you know, again, however it happened, it, it, was, it was important. Next up is a home clash with Fairleigh Dickinson on November 26th, before a trip to Dover to take on Delaware State on the 29th. It's been a return to remember for my co-host this season. Averaging over 13 points and 9 rebounds per game, the senior has shined after an injury shortened junior year and has notched a double-double in back-to-back -back games. She had a fun shoot-around with Darius Thigpen as our Student Athlete of the Month. So the name of the game is going to be media, okay. just like horse, but M-E-D-I-A. Got it. When did you first start playing basketball? I first started playing basketball when I was three years old. Um, my dad played in like a YMCA league, mm -hmm. and so I'd go with him to all his games, and then right after the games, we'd like be on the court. So you were one of them little kids, jump onto the court, <laughs> taking all the shots? All the time, and it turned yeah. into a D1 career. Yeah, yeah, so that's when I started playing. All right, let's see. Go behind the back, lay up. Oh! I'm not a southpaw if you can't tell. <laughs> Okay, what is your favorite cheat meal? Cheat day is almost every day for me, <laughs> but I would say if I just really had to go in, um, I think steak. Ooh, steak. How do you yeah. like your steak? Oh, it's medium. Okay. So just a little dribble combo. All right. All right. Got it. There you go. Finish the layups. So what's your f second favorite sport outside of basketball? Uh, does ping pong count as a sport? Yes. Okay. I do it in the ping Olympics. Pong it's a sport. Is my favorite sport. Ping pong. I have a ping pong table in my garage. All right. So you're one of these players. You got like the, the side action going. Yeah, I'm not like the, good at it. I oh, just, you're not that good. You just yeah, like. Yeah, I'm not. I just okay. like playing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm right, actually very bad at it. Okay, I'm gonna make you make the behind the back. All right. All right. Easy enough. Okay. Do you have any pets? I don't have any pets. I wanted a dog a lot growing up, but um, my parents wouldn't let us have it because upon further review, they were right. I wouldn't have took care of it. <laughs> That's exactly what been my a, mom I would have been said. a terrible dog dad. That is exactly, <laughs> she said, if I can't even clean my room, yes. how am I gonna take care of a dog? Boy, if you can't pick up your own room, how are you gonna pick up after a dog? Like, <laughs> yeah, okay, good point, mom. Yeah, good point. Yeah. Let's see if I can end this with a three-pointer. All 
All right, is that game? It <sighs> is. <laughs> ah, good game. Good game. Last question. Does pineapple go on pizza, yes or no? Never. Oh my Never. goodness, wrong answer. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Darius. I'm glad we could settle the pineapples on pizza question once and for all. Well, that's all the time we have for this edition of Lancer Central. I'm Autumn Childress. And I'm Tristan Penna. For everyone here at Lancer Central, we'll catch you next time. Hey there, fans. For more information on Longwood Athletics, keep it locked to longwoodlancers.com. Listen to the Longwood Sports Flash daily at 5.20 p.m. on WVHL Farmville, 92.9 Kicking Country, and follow Longwood Athletics on Instagram, Facebook, and on Twitter. Of course, you can also subscribe to our YouTube page. It's right down there. Just go ahead and click on it anytime you want. I'll wait.